this is something I always forget how to do, so I'm making a video, uh, and the point is to make an animated graph. Uh, and I'm using GlowScript v Python. Uh, if you want to use other types of Python, it's a little bit different. I really like the way it's done. I think it's very easy to make animated graphs in GlowScript, and also you don't have to install any software. You don't have to worry about different modules and stuff. You just go to the web page and, and go. So I'm using Trinket.io. I will give you the link to this code. You can actually edit it and play around with it. Uh, so what I want to do is to model the motion of a wave on a string in one in a one-dimensional string. Uh, so I have this equation right here, uh, which is I'm calling it f is the uh, displacement. You could it'd probably be called better called y, right? That's the vertical. Let's call it y. Um, but this is just a comment, and I'm using this equation: y is a sine kx minus omega t. I'm using w for omega plus some phase shift phi. And so here the thing is, it's going to change in both space, x, and time. So, so we have to account for that. If you just plotted x, it wouldn't move. And we're going to do that first. Uh, and, then, and then we're going to make it move with time. Okay. So let's just start off with some, uh, some constants here. Let's see, I picked some constants. I'm going to use the same constant I use on my notes over here. So I'm going to say uh, a equals 2. And this is in meters. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go with k equals two. K is the wave number. Uh, it's one over the wavelength. So, and then omega. I'm using w. Is I'm going to say two times pi. I just picked that. I don't know why I picked that. And phi is the phase shift. Let's pick pi over five to make it just a little bit different. Now I want to plot something. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a graph. So let's say in in GlowScript v Python we can make a graph with this g1 we don't have to give it a name and there's an object called graph and i can give a whole bunch of parameters in there i can give it a title let's give it let's do the whole thing title equals uh wave on string i can give it an x title x title equals uh that's going to be x position let's just say x in meters and then i can give a y title uh y title equals uh, y. Yeah. Now, one other thing I'm going to do, since I'm displaying this in, uh, a, a, I'm zoomed into my window a little bit. I want to make the graph a little bit smaller. So let's say, uh, oops, width equals 500, height equals mm, 250. Okay. And that's not going to do anything at this point because I don't have anything to plot. Uh, it just makes the the boundaries of the graph. The actual graph I'm going to use as, uh, I'm going to call this F1 equals G curve color. I like to, I like blue. Blue's my favorite. Color dot blue. I don't know why it shows it better. And so F1 is the object I'm going to actually plot, and G curve means that I'm going to plot data points. I'm going to connect them by a line. Uh, so you could do G dots, and we just put the dots there and so forth. So if I want to plot that uh, as a function of x, I need all my other parameters too. I need, first of all, I need t. Let's use at time t equals 0. I'm going to put this dt equals 0 0.01. I haven't used it yet. And then I need x equals 0. I want to do uh, dx also is 0 0.01. Because you got I'm doing a numerical plot, right? So I'm going to start at x equals 0. I'm going to calculate y. I'm going to plot that point. And then I'm going to move x up to 0 0.01 and calculate y and plot that. And then I can move to point zero 0.02 and so forth. So I have this long string of, of numbers. Uh, so let's go to uh, x equals 5. Let's just try that. So I'm going to make a loop. I'm going to say while x is less than 5. So this will go up until x is equal to 5 and then stop. And for each thing, I'm going to first calculate y. So I'm going to say y equals a times sine k times x. Uh, Let's say minus omega times t plus phi. And yeah, t is zero, but it doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to plot that data point, right? Because I have a data point, I have a y value and I have an x value. To plot that, I can say f1.plot. My x value is going to be x. My y value is going to be y. And if you had another variable, it just goes your horizontal variable and then your vertical variable either way. Now the next thing I need to do is increase my value of x. So I'm going to say x equals x equals x plus dx, and then that's going to move to the next one, and then that should be it. Let's run it and see if this works. There you go. Okay. 
So, and it's a good size. I'm pretty happy with that. There you go. Now, if I want to make this change with time, uh, I actually do need to do a slightly different way of plotting. Uh, so watch this. Uh, I'm going to calculate all my values and then I'm going to plot it. Okay. So let's say this. Go down here and I'm going to say data equals an empty list. Uh, and I'll include a link down below for my list, but you don't really have to know too much here. Instead of plotting right here, I'm not going to plot. I'm going to say data equals data plus my xy value. So as, a, as an ordered pair. So I'm going to say uh, xy. So it's going to add the value of x and the y to my list as a pair. Let's, let's do this. Let's change this to uh, 0.5, oh, dx to 0.5. And I'm going to run this. I'm not going to make a graph. And then at the end, I'm going to print out data. Just so you can see what it looks like. And so there you see my first uh, time value, my first x value, my first y value, and I have this list. And now, once I have that list like that, I can plot that. So after the loop. So up here, I'm going to turn this back to... 0, 1. Down here, I can plot that by saying f1.data equals data. So I'm going to say the data for that graph is that data that I just made, and that will plot the whole thing. Now, so, so and it works. I guess I should show you one thing that's a little bit different, because I can actually do this. Let's get rid of that too. Let's go back the other way, f1.plot xy. And up here, I'm going to put a statement, rate 100. So this will plot, uh, do one loop every, 100 loops every second. And since I have a, a time, a distance step of 0.01, it'll take five seconds through the whole thing. So we can see the graph being animated just in X, not in time. And so it's now, you can see it's going through and drawing all the points. And we're going to do something similar to that uh, with the, uh, with time. Okay, that's five seconds is a long time. Let's, let's get rid of this. And let's go back to this, get rid of this. And plot that. Okay, so now it's back to the way it was. And now what I want to do is to change the time and do this whole thing again. So this whole stuff, uh, let's delete this line, delete that line. Uh, that's fine like that. I want to do this whole thing a whole bunch of times. So let's make another loop. Let's say while t is less than 5. Do the following. And, and now I am going to include the rate because I want it to run in real time. So I'll say rate uh, 100. And I'm going to do all this stuff in here. So I need to indent that. Indent. Oops. And then I need to indent this. Uh, so that will do this stuff. Now, before I do that, uh, if I run through this and I calculate x and I go back up here, it's not going to do it because x already got to 5. So I need to reset x. I need to say x equals 0. And I need to empty my data. So I can say data equals an empty list. And, and then I can fill it in again. Uh, and then after I plot that, so I'm going to go through and plot it. And then I'm going to update time. So I'm going to say t equals t plus dt. And then it's going to go back up again. So this is going, this loop, this is going to plot that data a whole bunch of times. And it should work. Let's see if it works. Nice. You like that? I like that. Now there's some wiggling in here. Uh, that's just because... Uh, the axis is changing. You can fix that. If that bothers you, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So here I'm, I have x minimum is 0, x maximum is 5. So let's just put that in my graph up here. So if I uh, say x min equals 0, x max equals 5, then it's not going to auto adjust that scale. And I think that should fix it. Yeah, you like that's better. Okay, so there. if I wanted to make the animation run faster, I could change this rate to 200, and it will run twice the speed. Okay. So if I want to make it slower, change that. Um, I think that's it. I think the key thing is using this data and this uh, 
f1.data equals data thing. That's your key. Instead of doing f1.plot, uh, you can actually plot more than one graph at the same time, and that'd be kind of cool too. But uh, that's this. I'm going to give you the code. Um, I have I have another link on plotting, uh, and I've probably done this before too. But I think I think that should help help me because I'm going to forget and I'm going to find this on video. So this is from you, Futurette. And here I'm going to let you know you're welcome. Okay, that's it.